Second team pick. Winter Wyvern. Radiant team pick. It helps when I unmute my mic. Okay, so middle of feed can be picking up the faceless void as well as the ancient apparition winter wyvern being picked up by team singularity and ventral spirit will be the second pick middle feed opts into banner up the nature's prophet the beastmaster as well as the night stalker not wanting to play up against that split push as singularity pick up the bands on the brewmaster the tiny as well as the clockwork 10 seconds remaining five seconds remaining so, Team Singularity taking the first game. It is going to be a best of three middle feed. Trying to force this to a three game Our series. Team, team Singularity trying to wrap this up. And they pick up the Winter Wyvern, one of the most contested supports in the game at the moment. Radiant As Ventral team Spirit. Back. Yeah, again, I'm still not convinced. Uh, as, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm still not convinced Ventral Spirit is a good position one, but still a great support I think with the um, the swap, the stun, the extra Radiant damage, as well as the minus armor. A middle feed, give it the straight draw ban. You can see it coming, and they uh, want none of that. Gyrocopter going to be the fourth ban as well for middle feed. Meanwhile, on the side of Team Sing. You take out the Queen of Pain as well as the Invoker. Could this be a Storm Ten Spirit pickup for mid? Five seconds remaining. Radiant team pick. The Undying Wakes. And Undying going to be picked up by Team Singularity, so that's going to be the tankyish frontliner um to help let's say redistribute the aggression in the team Ten fight's gonna be able to keep himself up with those decay stores at the tombstone as well just adds a couple of targets that middle feed really need to consider taking down while they're in the middle of the fight just make it a little more chaos um making it hard for middle feed to prioritize in the fight all the while draining them of the health with the decay stacks coming out. So mid off feed, what are they going to go for? Ancient Apparition Sanking. The ultimates do synergize with the Faceless Void in his Chronosphere. You get the Epicenter out and just Burrow Strike or Blink yourself into the Chronosphere while Ancient Apparition can throw out that Ice Blast. And Marana, another good hero, throws the Star Storm as well in the middle of the fights. Can either go for that Diffusal Manta style build or even the Ags. And it's kind of split 50 50 on what the players actually go for when it comes to Marana. 10 seconds remaining. So mid up feed, this time remaining. going for a fight lineup. But Winter Wyvern, if she doesn't get caught out in the Chronosphere. We'll be able to throw out that Winter's Curse, um, just delay the Faceless Void or anybody that gets caught around the Chronosphere to delay the, the damage that can be put onto the fight, so middle feed do need to be careful of that positioning. Wyvern does need to be careful, does have the tendency, it, it's actually a good strat to throw the cold embrace out onto anyone that does get chronosphered, but um, you do need to be careful about how you time that, because if you use it too late, you leave, or if you're running away, you do leave your teammates stranded. Radiant um, and it's actually going to be a Team Singularity Storm Spirit pick. Yeah, no, that's what I was talking about, wasn't it, with the Queen of Pain and the, the Invoker Bar and the go for the Storm Spirit. Um, really strong hero at the minute just because of the way the mana regen has been reworked. Gets himself a quick Kaya into the Bloodstone or Lincoln Sphere. Um, doesn't even have to go for the mana boots anymore. Usually just gets the power treads into a Kaya. And then just go roams around the map looking for pickoffs and he's just an extremely powerful hero.
So what did Mid of Feed want to ban out here? Um, Team Singularity probably not really bothered about banning out the Anti-Mage with Faceless Void already being picked up. Usually see him in that position 1 role at the minute. Marana looks like it's going to be a mid. Marana sanking an Ancient Apparition as the supports and Puck's going to be the ban from Team Singularity. Um, yeah, I could see that and off lane Puck, I guess. It all depends on how Team Singularity want to be lining up here. The Vengeful Spirit can play the Ten position 1. Um, but then can play a position 4 or 5, five with the Winter Wyvern on dying in the off lane. So it all depends on how Singularity want to be playing this. So Brood Mother is going to be the ban once again. They pick up the Life Stealer. So it is going to be that off lane on die in the position for Vengeful Spirit with Wyvern on the 5, Storm Spirit on the 2, and Life Stealer playing the carry. Meanwhile, mid of feed. What do they want? Remaining. It's a pause 3, right? Five seconds Again, remaining. maybe something that goes with the Faceless Void Zolt. Um, could do a lot of burst damage. Maybe it... Ah, there's a lot of magic damage, so maybe not a Timbersaw. Um, though the Will in Death as well as the, the ultimate from the, the Timbersaw does a lot of damage. Uh, What do they want to go for? They do need to be slightly aware of what they pick up because they've already got two melee heroes and with the Winter's Curse, if they do get in close, it could be a little bit of trouble. But we still have heroes like the Lone Druid, the Monkey King, the Doom as well, still in there, I do believe. Weaver. It's going to be the Weaver. And it's actually going to be Kezu in the off lane on the Faceless Void, so they're swapping this around now. Kezu's going to be playing up the Faceless Void and Tomato on the Weaver. Meanwhile, Cancel picking up the Mirana, we've got We on the Sand King and Cinderin on the Ancient Apparition. Solon is going to be picking up the Winter Wyvern, we've got Mikey on the Vengeful Spirit, Bashrock on the Undying, Mastermind in the mid on the Storm, and Nox picking up that carry Lifestealer. And uh, again, Singularity one game away from winning the series. It is an upper bracket match. So the losers do go down to the lower bracket. They get a second chance to fight their way through. <laughs> and I Prepare for battle. don't believe, yeah, no one's been knocked down yet. So it's going to be... The winners of this move on to face the winners of Hellraisers versus Evil Corp. While the losers will drop down to the lower bracket. And the winner of the group overall, this is group A, we have a group B as well. The winner of the group overall will go on to face Team Kingwin in the last stage of the qualifiers. But for now, this is game two. The Storm's not actually going to go for the rune, he's just going to sit and look for the body blocks on the creeps. Singularity way less aggressive than last time. No smokes. So we're about to get ourselves underway. The horn has horned, I guess, signaled. The As the invasion comes in, Bashrock moves himself up to Cinderin. And Cinderin throwing out the right clicks, but Mikey picks himself up the two runes. And it looks like it is going to be the 2-1-2 between Mikey, Bashrock in the bot lane, and then Nox 
as well as Solon in the top. So Storm Spirit not actually getting the support this time. So, Mastermind and Cancel in the mid lane. Gonna be trying to trade hits here. There is a Sand King hanging around. Meanwhile, top lane. Solon does come in from behind. Kezu has the time walk if he wants to use it. Does not still use it, but he's still gonna be slowed up by the time walk. That's gonna be a lot of damage going Kezu's way. Forced to pop Tango, and now Nox moves himself forward as well. Not sure what Wee's waiting for. Maybe just keeping an eye out for the curry, but the second he stops down, okay. We're going to get a quick pause as Undying disconnects. But yeah, as soon as um, we steps down, though, this ward is going to pick him up. It's a really good defensive ward. Meanwhile, in the bot lane, Bashrook is going to be able to stack it up. Got himself 8 decay charges already. And uh, it looks like Bashrock wants to show Sind how it's done. Picking up his hero from the last game. So the right click's coming up, Bashrock chasing down Sind. We want mid lane, the burst strike is going to come in, the arrow's going to be there as well. This could be the first blood with the leap mastermind, getting pretty low. He's going to drop the remnant, but this looks like with the right, last right click, we picks up the kill. And how far forward was he if this um, this rune doesn't spot it out? Meanwhile, on the bot lane, Tomato being chased down, a couple more right clicks coming out from Bashrock. There's going to be the Sakuchi getting himself away. But he's not really that healthy. He does have a salve if he wants to use it. Bashrock walks himself over. Just stops the decay in the dire jungle that Wii is being chased down. He actually took a bit of damage from the neutrals. But Wii is going to be alright in the end. I say alright, he's lost most of his health. So cancel... Throwing the harass out and forcing Storm Spirit to pick up more tangos. Oh, that's going to be a regen. That's going to be big if you can just use it to regen up. Get us all his mana back. There's a rotation coming in from Wii as well, so there can't be any chase from Mastermind. You are top lane. Kezu taking a lot of damage. Again, has the time walk if it gets too dire. But Tomato trying to force up. Mikey is though, he's got two points into the magic missile and Bashrock's rotating his way around as well. But in the mid lane, cancel, gonna be taking a little bit for us coming out from Mastermind. And we rotates around the back. He is only level 1. Looking for the level 2. Which is nearly there. They're going to try and make a play onto Nox. Kazu coming forward as well. There's going to be the ward dropped. Nox just backs himself away to safety. Meanwhile mid lane. Solon does have the Arctic Burn level 1. But Cancel has those 3 leaps. So really if needs to be. Uh, if Cancel needs to escape. She can do that. But Salve's going to be popped. And arrow flies through again. This could be second kill with a leap forward. The star storm as well. With the double hit onto star St storm spirit. We picks up that kill. Top lane, Kazu. Trading with Nox. So cancel. Got himself two assists in the mid lane. He's run out of mana though. Going towards the bot lane, I assume. Meanwhile, bot lane, the rotations come through. Syndrome's actually pretty low as we comes in. He's going to get the bonus strike off. He actually gets it off onto the Undying. There's going to be the wave of terror. We are they going to be able to turn this around. Tomato trying to go for the chase by Shrug. Going to be taken down, but not before Mikey picks up Wii. Right click's coming out from Solon. So it's going to be. Is this going to be a two for a three for one? 
And the TP is coming in from the Sand King, but the damage has been done. As Mikey picks himself up, a double kill pops the... Death tax. The salve. And heals himself up. Top rune as well. Bashrook chasing down Wii. And it looks like, Tomato, they want to make a move onto Mi Mikey, but with nothing to cancel that cult feat not used. Mikey able to TP himself away. Mid lane, the rotation's coming back through. We does cancel have a clear shot. The Boros Strike could be there underneath the tier 1 tower. Arctic Burn, but there's going to be the arrow as well. Is it going to be a leap forward from Cancel? Cancel just choosing to right click down as Sullen takes down Wii. And now the chase could be on Mastermind. Throwing out the charge. Sullen getting pretty low as well, but again, the three leaps available to Morana. It's Kazu forced to time walk away from Nox. So Nox, looks like he's winning 29 to the 21, it's, it's not the biggest gap in the world though. Just once again, Solon rotates in, the Splinter Blast comes out and Cancel tries to leap away from that but it does still connect. Mikey on the bot, it's actually... Up there, both heroes, both, I guess, cores, you could call them. The side of Singularity, up there with the last hits. Uh, net worth-wise, yeah, it's all three cores on the side of Singularity. Slight net K, net K, net worth lead. The Boros Strike does come through. Is there a Rage available? There's going to be a Chronosphere as well, but Nox tries to turn and trade this Kezu. Is he going to pop that Chronosphere? Guess the time will pop off. The Chronosphere is going to come out now, and the Bash damage Lifestealer should be taken down with the Boros Strike Wii. Secures himself a third kill in this game. Solon could not get there in time. And Kezu takes harass from the Splinter Blast. But it should be enough that he uh, moves himself back. He should be able to move to the Shrine now. I mean, what bot lane? We TPs himself down. Four to four, seven minutes in. There's going to be the Magic Missile. The Dust gets popped as well. And Tomato not even given a chance. Burrow Strike from Wii. But the Tombstone's going to be dropped. We instantly backed himself away. Cinderin, what are you doing, mate? There's going to be another magic missile. The right clicks and Mikey picks up the kill. The Burrow Strike does come through. So we doesn't even secure the kill. It's just going to be Consolation Gold. As Nox once again charging down Kezu on this top lane. Leap forward, but Mastermind now. Has the ball lightning dodges out the arrow? Radiance middle tower is under attack. Dust goes once again, but Tomato able to run a decent amount of ways. He's only level five though. Doesn't have this time lapse just yet to the level six of Mikey, so there is a swap. Dyer's middle tower time is, is under money. attack. And if you get close, Mikey could go for the swap into the Magic Missile. Magic Missile is going to fly. There was still dust on Tomato, so Tomato might go down even with the Sakuchi Bashrook chasing in. Can't get the decay off in the right place, but Mikey. Magic Missile as well as Wave of Terror in one. Dust is still there. Tomato somehow gets himself out, but the Magic Missile comes onto Cinder and Cinder. I'm going to take a fall. And Tomato trying to firm up Mikey. There goes the Sakuchi once again, but Tomato. Is at risk. Bashrock taking a lot of damage as well. The swap comes out. Mikey with the tower strikes is going to take him down. Kezu secures that. And now the time dilation. Bashrock tries to run himself away. The storm gets taken down in the mid. The prize is mine. So Nox trading with Wii. We actually getting pretty darn low. It is a level 8 Nox to the level 4 on the Sand King though. There goes the Rage. As Tomato has rotated up, maybe looking for a kill. I 
Mid lane. Cinderin is the Solemn goes for the Splinter Blast. There's actually going to be dive forward from Mastermind as well. Able to pick up that kill. Cost him all his mana, but he should be able to just walk himself out. Oh, maybe not. The Boros Strike comes through the Star Storm as well. Mastermind just zips himself up with one charges. But there's a leap. Arrow is going to connect as well. Mastermind slows down Cancel, but that last right click could put Solon in trouble now as well. Doesn't have the Winter's Curse, only level 5. So shouldn't be able to get himself away. And Cancel does pick up that double. So tier 1 tower being pressured by middle feed is going to be taken down as Cancel does secure that. Tomato's moved up to the top lane, but again, the three level difference, Nox just chooses to chase him down. He does have the time lapse now, so if he gets too low, but the way Nox is doing it, he's chunking him down a little bit by a little bit, so the time lapse won't be that effective. Well, lane, Kezu does have the Chronosphere as well as the Mask of Madness. And we sit behind level 6, no mana for the epicenter unfortunately. It's going to be a 2 man chronosphere coming out from Kezu, Solon coming in. Is he going to be able to get off the Winter's Curse as the Ice Blast? Does it connect? Winter's Curse takes down the Sand King and Kezu now. Going to be taken down by the Magic Missile. Cancel trying to do what he can with the Star Stone, but the Tombstone's still alive. And Bashrock going in, gets a decay, one more right click. Bashrock picks up the double. Yeah, net worth. Ike in the offlane's doing way better than the Weaver. So it's 10 to 12 now. 11 minutes in, mid off feed. Just a little bit behind this T1 tower being pressured as well. Top lane, the chase comes out from Nox again. Just trying to chunk down Tomato so the time lapse won't be that effective. If he is forced to use it. Open Wind's used Tomato, using the Sakuchi to get himself away. But, uh, Sindarin, what are you doing, man? That's not your side of the river. Mastermind spots Tomato. Tomato cheekily picks up the rune in the Sakuchi form, moves himself back to Mastermind now. The right click's coming up, but Solon's here as well. Arrow flies through a little bit off the mark for Nox. And I guess, bit of a stalemate. Kezu, time walks himself away, swaps available, but it is only level one, so the range on it isn't that big as Cancel. Back in the mid lane, cleans up the creeps with the Star Storm. Leaps himself forward. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Helm of the Dominator creep gets taken down. Like a bodyguard, dives himself in front of the arrow, aimed for Mikey. So, 13 minutes in, Moonlight Shadow's gonna come, there's gonna be a two-man Chronosphere, Mastermind's there, zips himself through, and actually gets to drag with the Vortex, Kezu gets turned around, knocks the kill from Cinderin onto Bashrook, but it looks like Nox is gonna be able to get the return kill, Cinderin goes down, Mikey picks that one up, and now Nox chasing down Tomato, it's gonna be a big Winter's Curse, Sanking once again gonna fall, Kezu time walks himself up onto the high ground, meanwhile on the Dire side, it looks like... Tomato may be able to get himself away. Mastermind picks up the kill, sees the courier. A couple of right clicks, but he's not going to opt to do it. With the zip, but Mastermind's going to be left for dead. As Nox limps himself into the jungle. So Sind on the bot. Mikey's down here as well. Rotation can't come through from cancel. 
He's got a regen as well, so that's going to be mana if he needs it. Just looking for the clarity to regen him up. He's got enough for the arrow. But uh, needs it for the leap and the star storm as well. TP coming in from the Sand King. Blink Burrow Strike, and it's going to be an Ice Blast as well. This is going to be a dead Ventral Spirit. As the uh, Ghost Form, not really that effective. Nobody to finish off. So Nox hanging around the top with Tomato, but mid lane, it looks like the push is coming on to the tier 1. 14 to 15, 15 minutes in. Ashok gets the decay, Mastermind blinks him, uh, just bowls himself away, and it's going to be a time dilation, Ice Blast. And Undying takes a dive, open wounds, Kezu, is he going to be dragged back by the Vortex as well? Kezu time walks himself out, and luckily, is going to survive through that. Bottom tower is under attack. So now Nox and Mastermind. Infest Bomb is available Dyer's if that's something they want to play around with. Mado. Vortex comes through. Do they have the damage as Gucci comes off and the life stealer bomb? Mado still gets himself away. As the bot lane, Mikey's pushing in solo, going towards that Dragon Lance. Top lane, Ward gets dropped. It is a sentry. There's going to be the Arctic Burn coming through as well, but Sakuchi wins this curse, but there's no one there to right click Kezu down. It looks like he's trying to get it for the lockdown. Ice Blast is going to come through. Kezu gets taken down by Bashrock, and now Nox on the chase. Gonna be a five-man push coming in from Singularity. This T1 tower being fortified. As uh, Singularity want to be taking some map control. They've got. Oh, we. Is there any dust? Is there any reveal? They drop the Sentry Ward. There's gonna be the Burrow Strike, but it's not gonna be enough as the Magic Missile does come out. Nox picks up the kill onto the Sand King. Now the swap back. Leap coming out from Cancel. It's gonna be the double leap to get himself away. Tomato on the back line is able to run himself away slightly. Ice Blast, Magic Missile, Cinderin could be in trouble. Sanking buys back, throws out the epicenter, gets a two-man burrow strike, takes down Nox and Solon. Secured by Tomato. Bash Rook, there's gonna be another burrow strike. The arrow flies through. And as far as it goes, it's gonna be the three for two. Buyback did come through from the Sand King, though. Some Mastermind. Does he make a move down? We is the... I don't think they saw him, but they will see Mastermind with the, the Radiant Ward, and now Mastermind being chased by a creep. So, Kezu and Tomato catching up on the net worth now. Tomato's made a big stride towards catching up with the Vengeful Spirit, but Nox is still at the top. Sentry dropped. Tomato just on the end of it. And there's two heroes just waiting to get the kill. Chronosphere is going to come out, but the Winter's Curse is going to be there. Keeping Kezu locked down. The arrow flies through, so knocks the stun. The swap from Mikey. And Tombstone's going to be dropped. It looks like Singularity want to take this fight more than mid or feed. And now Tomato forced to use the time lapse. Going to Sukuchi himself away. The Splinter Blast does come through Tomato. Takes the damage in the end. Tower is under and everybody gets out alive. Mastermind still pushing in the mid lane. Radiant's top tower has fallen. 
So Mastermind, building towards the, the Bloodstone. Not actually going to go for the Kaya first. As Nox TPs himself down to the bot lane, going towards the, the Echo Saber. <laughs> Just look at the amount of sentries on this top lane. Look, they were trying to pick up this kill on uh, Tomato. Oh, back in the river, the Vortex is going to come out. Cancel, does he have a leap away? One left, but it's not going to matter as he gets taken down. So Mastermind, about a thousand gold away from being able to pick up, maybe about thirteen hundred gold away from being able to pick up the full Bloodstone. Um, again, go for the Power Treads. So the push is coming in, Mastermind picks up all but the last piece and it is only going to be about 400 gold away from being able to pick that up. Meanwhile, top lane, the blink comes forward. We trying to chase down Solon as the tier 1 tower goes down on the top. Mikey, he's got himself the helm of the Dominator, is going to be able to help push in with the Centaur. But uh, I don't know if Singularity want to be trying to force something out here as there are only four heroes there. They're just going to back themselves away, or at least Mikey is. Ashrock waits until the wards come out so he can get them in the Radiant Jungle, just so they can look for pickoffs in the later part of the game. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. That's going to be an infest as well, Mastermind. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. He's got the life stealer inside him. And are they going to look to make a move? There's going to be the smoke. Dying it's just going to be three heroes smoked up. Oh, one dying. TPs himself into five heroes on the side of Minnow Feed. So I think Syndrome was just spotted. This could be the jump forward. The Lifestealer actually pops out. That Chronosphere is going to come out. But again, there is a Winter's Curse going to be dropped. Arrow flies through, but the Chronosphere is still up. There's going to be Nox turn around. Open Wounds comes out. Rage as well. It looks like they are going to be able to take down Tomato. However, Chase comes through. Wee is going to be able to get himself away. I don't think the Storm Spirit is going to let him escape. We looking for anything to try and get himself away. Kezu now with the time hook down to the lower ground council. Is he going to be as lucky as Cinder and takes down Nox? It looks like that was going to be the Ice Blast. That secured that kill. So, two for one. But it looks like Singularity want to go for the push. Or two for two, yeah. Undyne was taken down at the beginning of that fight. We've not taken a look at the items, we're 23 minutes in. It's going to be the Echo Saber, the Amulet coming out for Nox. Is he going to go for the Desolator or the BKB? It's actually going to be the Desolator. Mastermind's got himself the Bloodstone. Picked himself up three charges on that. Mikey. Oh, Dragonless is going to be the leap forward onto the Faceless Void, it looks like, because he's... Does he have the Time Walk away? No. Magic Missile stacked up just at the right time. And our Singularity move themselves into Roche, 20 to 22, 23 minutes in. Roshan, is there an Ice Blast available? It's up in three seconds. I think Sin might look to throw it out as well. But Roshan's going down so quickly, I don't think Singularity are going to care about this. Yep, Ice Blast does come in. There's going to be a bonus strike. Epicenter being channel, but we gets taken down just as he gets it off. And Mikey, the not done yet. Mastermind picks up the kill onto Syndrome. So again, another two kills, 20 to 24. And now they've got themselves an Aegis to play around with as well. Sind and Wee, no buybacks available either. 
Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiance structures are fortified. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. So Cancel trying to go for the split push on the top while Tomato goes for it on the bot, but Mastermind is there. Sakuchi Tomato walks back in, Mikey takes the tier 2 tower in the mid lane, but Mastermind is going to be able to find the kill here, does have the Vortex, and it is level 4, but Tomato just walks himself out of range. Top lane being pressured by Cancel. And Cancel just trots herself away. Got the Akinim Scepter, so it is going to be able to throw a lot of damage in the team fights as long as Mirana survives for a decent amount of time. Walking herself back towards the lane, though. So 25 minutes in, the blink comes through with the Boros Strike. Solon could be in trouble. The Winter's Curse does fly through. Arrow's going to be off the mark. Ice Blast. Solon should still proc this. And it's going to be a double leap coming out from Marana. Trying to catch him with Solon. Does go down to the last right click as the ice shatters the Winter Wyvern. Not able to keep up with the cold. So now Nox, with the Aegis, the Desolator. Um, not sure what he wants to try and do with this apart from firming up because Singularity can group up if they can find a good fight. Which it looks like they want to do with Mastermind. Once again having the lifestealer climb inside him, it looks like Undyne is going to be caught out though. The Blink comes through, the Ice Blast is going to be there as well. Bashuk drops the Tombstone. Time dilation. Is he going to be able to get himself away? The rest of his team. <laughs> Nobody's there to help save him. But now. He actually jumped outside of the infest. It's going to be a big ball forward. We gets the burrow strike away, but it looks like Mastodon wants to chase with the vortex. They pick up the kill onto the Sand King. Mid lane, Solon leading the line, Nox is there as well, Mikey. What's he actually building towards? I know he got himself the Dragon Lance, got the pipe now as well as building towards the Shadow Blade. Tomato, is he going to get caught out? He gets spotted as Nox steals his creep. Sakuji's himself back in, the stomp comes out but it's not going to be on the mark as well, Tomato. Now all five heroes on the side of Singularity stacking up. Chronosphere is back up though, so they do need to be careful about getting caught out with that. Oh, and dying. Please no. Your team does need you for the fight, as he's just going to go for the double D ward. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. We now moving himself through the trees. But back in the mid lane, there was a TP. Mastermind time lapse comes out. He throws himself forward as well. Tomato trying to Sakuchi, trying to duke and dive his way out of here. It looks like he's going to be able to get away. As once again, the Marana on the top lane trying to split push this out with the Ragnarum Scepter. The amount of damage she can do with the Star Storm clears up waves in seconds. Radiant are scanning. And the push on the bot lane coming in from Mikey. So this tier 2 tower is about halfway down. But top lane though, epicenter. There's going to be the blink borrow. The arrow flies through as well. And Bashrook gets taken out. Mastermind actually. Vortex is a creep. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. So. Aegis is going to be reclaimed now as well. Nox, it just frees him up another item. I'm going to go back for the Sanjin Yasha. But 23 to 26, nine, 29 minutes in, net worth, it's still knocks on top. 
Closely followed by the Weaver. And then Mastermind. Um, both teams playing it safe. Not really wanting to go out into an all-out fight, just in case the other team... Because both teams have a decent amount of push. There's going to be the ball forward, but the blink away comes through from Wii. As the Ice Blast. Going to be a little bit of a pain to Mastermind, but it shouldn't kill him off. It won't kill him off. Mikey still building towards that Shadow Blade. Whether it's going to be a Silver Edge to come up afterwards, whether it's just going to be the straight Shadow Blade. Roshan, it's going to be at least a minute and 40 seconds before he is back up mid lane. Though we hiding himself in the trees. Is he going to go for the Blink Burrow? The pings are coming out. It looks like they want to try and make a move. But Nox does just move himself off this lane safely now. And uh, 30 minutes in, we've got the push coming up from Nox, the counter push coming up from the Mar uh, Marana. Council's got himself a blink dagger now, so he's got three leaps and a blink. He's going to be able to take down this tier two as well. Fortification going to be used, but it shouldn't be a problem yet. Carty the Car is going to be able to pick that one up. Pressure coming in onto the tier two tower top though from a Mikey, a mastermind. Top Nox is, is inside him once again. Mastermind TPing up. Is he going to blink for this cancel? Not going to be spotted out. So Nox, how long is he going to stay inside the Storm Spirit? I guess they look for a fight. I guess this is what they were looking for a solo pickoff. Couldn't find it. Mastermind, if they do just try and join the fight now. The prize is mine. So, Mastermind, just hanging around in the trees with Nox inside him. This is just going to be. He's just along for the ride. Life stealer. I don't know. Is he. Gone taking a break. Might be taking a smoke break. Letting Mastermind do all the work. I'll take your tribute. So let's take a look at the items while we have a little bit of a break. Mastermind did pick up the Kaya after all. Goes back for the BKB as well. Nox got himself the armlet. Nothing really new. He has picked up the sands. Just needs to get that delivered. It's going to be a big dive in fest. But we does get the blink away. Now blink oh moves himself forward, gets the Burrow Strike off. BKB is gonna be popped by Mastermind. Must have been a four staff away. Mastermind is gonna be able to run himself away. It's gonna be a two-man chronosphere. Ice Boss is gonna be there as well. BKB is gonna wear off. But the swap out from Mikey. Epicenter does come in. It looks like Epicenter gonna be able to kill off Mikey at least. And now Tomato pops the BKB of his own. Winter's curse comes out. It's gonna be San King taken down by Solon. Now Tomato. Caught out, Sentry World comes out, Vortex, Lincoln Sphere is going to be popped and he's still trying to go for this one more right click. Mastermind, is he going to be able to get it? This Gucci away, Tomato moving himself up and around. Ooh. Mastermind is eventually going to be able to pick up that kill. As Tomato. Just can't make the stretch. Did Venge buy back for that? She did. So with the Ice Blast, <laughs> Shrine's going to be a wee bit useless and now Lifestealer with his favourite pastime climbing inside the Storm Spirit. Roshan is going to be back up, back up in 38 seconds. I'm surprised they've not tried to do anything with this 30 seconds that Tomato's been down on the Weaver. Oh, 
teleport lane. Cancel. Is he going to try and make a kill on Bashrock or is he just going to try and farm the tombstone? It's like 24 to 28. Both teams just really taking it slow this match. We're already 34 minutes in. Middlefeed can't afford to give away a team fight because they'll probably end up losing the lane of Rax, um, which puts them closer to losing the actual game. Meanwhile, Singularity playing at careful. They want to be meticulous with these pickoffs. They want to make sure there's no mistakes. The leap comes forward. This could be the infest as well. Moonlight Shadow comes up with the Vortex. Chronosphere. Storm Spirit nearly gets himself out on the outside. Kezu going to be thrown out the right clicks as the Ice Path does come. Ice Blast does come in, and Kezu picks up the kill onto the Storm Spirit. Lifestealer <laughs> inside the cart. Weaver, is there going to be an infest? Carty is going to be broken now. Syndrome with a Glimmer Cape and Noxal a bit lost as the swap comes through. Mikey saving Bashrock's life. It looks like Mastermind is going to be coming back. Time lapse comes out. Tomato trying to run himself away. Stolen, but it's going to be the BKB pop by Tomato. Tomato, the right click still coming out though. He's getting pretty darn low. Able to get himself forward, but Mastermind just keeps on chasing with these right clicks and does find the kill. So now, again, two heroes down, Roshan back up, and this could be the opening that Team Singularity needed. So Roshan, with the Desolator on Nox, he's going to be made quick work of, I don't think there's a medallion, but still Roshan. Gonna be taking a fall. The arrow does come through. The ice blast there as well. Nox needs to pick up the Sages. There's cheese, Kazu. There's no epicenter, but there's gonna be the Boros Strike with the. Sorry, there's no Chronosphere, but there is an epicenter coming out from Wii. Should I say? I'm pretty sure the Aegis. Who did that go to? It's gonna be Mastermind that picks this up. Wii caught Sentry Ward. No way for him to get himself out. And Mastermind, not done with the chase yet. Blink forward, Solon doesn't have the Winter's Curse, but backline Sind could be taken down as Mastermind just wants to be zip zapping his way around. Cinderin. Yes, yeah, Sentry Ward dropped, Cinderin taken down. You want back in the mid lane? Cancel, trying to go onto Mikey, the right clicks there, no mana on Mikey, call. Cancel, is he going to be able to get himself away? There's going to be the jump forward once again, Lincoln Sphere popped to Mastermind. Where does he keep getting all this mana? Got himself a clutch regen rune, it looks like. So now, Tomato's going to be coming back up. I actually went for the plus 25 XP gain over the 20 mana break, which would have been great against the Storm. But I suppose he did get a bit dumpstered by the Ventral Spirit on dying, needed to catch up. Top tower is under attack. Radiance top tower has fallen. So... Mikey now picks up the Shadow Blade. And Mastermind going towards the Orchid now as well. That's going to be great. Needs to be careful what he uses it on. Can use it on the Sand King. Um, but Weaver has his BKB. Marana has the Lincoln Spear. The Leap comes down onto Kezu. That's going to be a deep jump. He does get the time walk away, but Mastermind 2 man Chronosphere comes out once again. The swap coming out from Mikey. Mastermind with VKB. He's going to try and carry on diving for this. Weaver does come in. Nox getting pretty down low. Does have the cheese available if you can use it after the stun comes off, but it looks like he is going to be taken down by Wii and that epicenter. Wii though, the return comes out. The illusions from Mikey. Able to find that kill. Mikey to go down. He's just alive, and the heal comes out now from Bashrock. It looks like the pressure from Singularity. Gonna be a little bit too much as everybody just backs off to heal themselves up. Thirty seven seconds before Nox is back up, but it's twenty six before Sind. 19 before we we just have a buyback if he wants to use it mastermind cancel blinks himself in throws out starstorm to try and clean up this wave but the creep wave is still up and the t3 tower gonna be taking a lot of for us it's only on 200 health this should go down Magic Missile pops the Lincolns, the arrow's going to be there, but with the Shadow Blade, Dust reveals him now. Solon comes in, drops the Winter's Curse onto the Sand King. 
Dust, Kazu. What's he going to try and do? Time walks himself back, and it looks like Middlefeed just want to get back for safety. As Tomato pushing out the bot lane. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Some mastermind. Nox grouping up. I've been wanting this. There's going to be a big jump. He take down Cinder and the Burrow Strike does come through. Storm Spirit, is he going to be able to get up? Anything, no, the Vortex is down. I'm just trying to calculate because he's got the Kaya, he's got the Arcane. Top so the mana cost goes down by 40. Stupendous. Though I suppose it's still a constant 0 0.7 mana being drained when he balls. Radiance top shrine has fallen. Corpses. Mikey with the Invis coming in there. It's gonna be the ball forward. Vortex pops the Lincoln Sphere and it's going to be an instant time lapse but the Winter's Curse does come out onto Weaver. Are they going to be able to take him down? Just jumping himself forward, there's no Vortex now for the next 3 seconds, BKB is up but it's just Mastermind zip zapping his way across the map. They take down Tomato, they take down Wii. Cinderin is about to come back up so there is going to be an Ice Blaster trying to defend this Rax but I don't think Singularity occurred, they just want to carry on going on this. Cancels up on the, the bottom lane anyway trying to push this out, Ice Blast does come through, it's going to be on to Nox, Mastermind. Still takes it, even though he tries to ball himself away. So now Singularity can move themselves up onto the top lane. No buyback from Tomato. Cancel with the Starstone, but there's still creeps. There's double carts. There's Bashrak. And it's going to be oof, triple arrow. Splits the wickets Radiance on all three heroes. So, so on TP's back, he's got the splinter blast to really clear off this wave. But uh, it is going to be two lanes of racks going the way of singularity. 42 minutes in, 10k net worth advantage as well. 27 to 38. Top lane, there's going to be a Chronosphere onto the lifesteal. The swap comes out though from Mikey. And it looks like Epicenter is going to be able to clean off Mikey. Is Masterman going to be able to get himself away? Not just yet. Bashrook with the blink forward. Anything to cancel this? Yeah, there's going to be a bash coming out from Kezu. So, once Wyvern got herself the Aether Lens, the Glimmer Cape as well. Blink Dagger, so that's going to be great for closing the gap for the Blink into the Winter's Curse. Haste. I'll take your tribute. Storm has the Hex now, so the Vortex can break the Lincolns on the Weaver. And then instantly move in with the Hex or the other way around. How are they going to try and make a dive onto Cancel? He's hiding himself in the trees, so they shouldn't be able to see him just yet, but with the tier 2 tower being down there, uh, the pressure is going to come in and Cancel either survives and runs himself away or tries to defend this, but with Mastermind throwing himself around the trees, he's got the level 25 now. The 500 distance auto run, and it's such a powerful spell. You throw that out in the path that a hero's running. And they take constant burst damage from those illusions, from those static remnants. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. 
So the tier 2 tower taken down by creeps. It is the last lane left with um, racks. So uh, Singularity going to pressure this in or... It looks like they just want to maybe go for the, the counter push on the side of middle feed. Pushing in the tier 3 tower top. Again, it's only taking a little bit of damage but the... Entirety of Singularity rotating through, looking for a kill. Kezu, warded off. Solon does jump up. It's going to be a two-man chronosphere. Catches out Nox as well, so Solon going to be taken down. Meanwhile, on the back lines, they are going to be able to take down Syndrome. Epicenter does come through, but Masterman gets off his BKB. Now the Reckless coming off onto Kezu. Kezu's got the Lotus Orb on him, and they're going to try and chase Wii. Being taken down by Masterman as well as Bash Rook. Meanwhile, on the top lane, Cancel trying to TP his way out. Is he going to be able to get himself out as the buyback comes through from Nox in that fight? I, was, I thought there might have been another buyback, but... Let's shift over to the buybacks now. Net worth, not really that important. Mastermind, gonna be able to find himself a DD as well, it looks like, so... This could be big, they make a zap down, there's gonna be the dust coming out, and it's gonna be a dead Weaver. Down for 99. No buyback. Singularity could look for the end. Cancel, Mastermind. Don't think he has the mana to catch up though with Cancel, so Cancel leaps himself away. Even with the DD, Roshan is back up now. They spotted out, so they could farm this and go for the Megas. Who did they give the Refresher to? Winter Wyvern, right? You've got to get the Refresher off so we can get a double, uh, double Winter's Curse. Speaking of, they get the Sentry, Cinder, and is he going to be taken down? It looks like he just gets himself away with the TP. Now Nox and Mikey move themselves back into the Roche pit. So Nox takes the cheese and it's actually going to be Bashrook that takes the Refresher Shard. They can swap this over, I wouldn't be surprised if he gives it to Solon. But then again, two Tombstones. Three Tombstones if he dies. Ooh, bot lane, the Zip Zap comes in and we... Not a chance, mate. You had your warning. <laughs> Gives the B right back. Down for 70 seconds. But, um... Yeah, no buyback available on him as well. He's 372 gold away from being able to secure that. Cancel. I'm surprised, again, they're not trying to force the aggro onto the bottom lane to try and take this last lane of racks. Maybe even trying to force back the buyback from the Sand King if they don't know that's down. Regeneration. Here I am. Over here now. Here I am. Double damage. So Mikey got himself the Hurricane Pike. A golden thread. And this is it now. And Dian's got himself the Refresher again. It's not the worst thing in the world. You know you've got the the Tombstone that you can drop twice. Um. But I would have thought they would have given it over to the Winter Wyvern. So Sanking is back up now, Sindarin being low to stormed out. The Zip Zap's going to come in and Sindarin just gets eaten for breakfast. Kezu gets the Chronosphere off. The Espos is going to come through as well, but I don't think this is going to be enough to take down the Swap. Actually, comes through. Epicenter on the back line. Bashrook uses the Refresh Rob now. Gets down the double Tombstone. Kezu trying to bash one down, but there is still another one going. Kezu needs to try and walk himself away. And the T3 tower, Arrow actually hits onto two heroes. This could be a good turnaround fight. Mikey is already down. The Cold Embrace does come up, but this could be the... Zoom forward. The silence comes out onto Stonesprout, but he does have the Aegis. 
So now Nox Bashrock, it's gonna be a dead Storm Spirit. Tomato picks up that kill. And they've broken two lanes, but just couldn't take the third lane of Rax. So now Nox. Moving himself, what's he actually got coming out on the Courier? It's the full Abyssal Blade, yeah, this is going to really help him in the fights. And buybacks, it's only the Winter Wyvern as well as Cancel. So if Singularity can take a good fight, they should be able to break the base. Meanwhile, on the side of the Radiant mid or feed, the Glimmer Cape is up. They've got the Monkey King Bar on Kezu. Cancel's got himself a Bloodthorn as well. Ooh. It comes forward. Is there a Chronosphere? Chronosphere is down for the next 14 seconds, it looks like, as well, but the silence from the Mask of Madness. So Mastermind all on his lonesome. Kezu is the got the Chronosphere can spot it out with this Invis rune, just walks himself up. No, this is gonna be the time walk forward. It's gonna be a Chronosphere once again. Two heroes, but the swap comes out from Mikey. Mikey doing the best to keep him alive. Mastermind pops the BKB, jumps himself back in, trying to get the fights, and it looks like we might go down. There's gonna be the Winter's Curse as well, so cancel getting him low. He's gonna be able to right-click him down, and Mastermind just zip saps himself around in and out of the fight. Still alive. It looks like Tomato may be even taken down. Gets the time lapse off. Bashrock comes in. Cancel still alive. It's two heroes down on the side of the Radiant and one for Singularity. Cinderin. Just spotted the Moonlight Shadow could be saving. Does have the Glimmer Cape as well. Arrows fly through. Hits onto Nox and Storm Spirit silenced up. Silence wears off. There's going to be the Infest Bomb and Nox does get taken down. Backlines to Mada's trying to do what he can. So with three heroes down now, they've only got Mikey down on the side of... Oh, it's going to be the Bloodthorn coming in after an hour, but the leap comes through. There's going to be the Vortex as well as the Abyssal Blade being dropped onto the Mirana. Mirana trying to do whatever he can. The Cold Embrace comes out. Nox taking a lot of damage. Mastermind is just turning around, trying to right-click down the Swarm. Tomato, the buyback did come through from Cancel. Cancel may be able to take down Mastermind. He just zips his way away from the Star Storm and barely survives through it. But Life Stealer bought back already, so he's going to be down for the next 110 seconds. No buyback now. The 48. Haste. Masterminds. 52 minutes in, 48 kills. He's only got himself off. He's been involved in. What's that, 33? But he's only got himself the 18 charges, jumps forwards. Now this could be the kill onto the Sand King. So we, again down for 77. But uh, both lanes are pushing in. But Singularity, trouble to close this one out. The Chronosphere comes up. Lincoln Sphere is going to be popped as well. I think that was the Win Winter's Curse, but the Lincoln Sphere is going to block that. They are going to be able to take down Mastermind, and the Ice Blast comes through. Kezu gets the last right click onto Solon. Lifestealer does have buyback. Storm's not down for that long. Down to 12 Bloodstone charges, though. So mid of feeder holding, 39 to 49, 53 minutes in. Tomorrow with the hand of Midas, um, keeping it this late into the game. Is nearly six slotted. Doesn't have any boots either. Just relying, I guess, on the Sakuchi. He's got the one German attack, uh, not taking the plus 200 movement speed. 
Bashrook, just look at him right click down, it's going to be a quick pop, Bashrook turns one with the Flesh Golem, they are going to be able to pick up Tomato, Mastermind now, it's going to be the Abyssal Blade onto Cinderin, cancel, is he going to be able to get himself away, leaps himself up to the high ground, there's going to be the Bash, and Mastermind just keeps on going with the BKB forward, as well as the ball, Lightning, cancel, Lincoln's Sphere is going to be popped, Mastermind doesn't have the recharge, down to 14 Bloodstone, so just couldn't carry on chasing, but with Cinderin as well as Tomato down, Winter Wyvern coming back up, he might look for the push. Dyer's bottom barracks are under attack. It looks like they want the Megas. Moonlight Shadow is going to come out. Kezu has the Chronosphere. There's going to be the Epicenter with the Blink Burrow Strike, but the swap comes through. Still going to be Nox into that. The Chronosphere, he does get taken down. Can buy back if he needs to. Bashrak being bashed up. And Undyne had the Aegis? Ah, reincarnation after 200 seconds. That makes much more sense. As the bot lane being pushed out, these racks are actually taking a little bit of a beating. So Solon did come back to defend. He's got a hex of his own. So it's two hexes out on the field, but Singularity just can't close this game out. I mean, don't they know we've got another game in 20 minutes? The prize is mine. So, Mastermind trying to go for the ball forward once again, Cinder and we. Just up onto the high ground, Roshan is being attempted to blink forward. There's going to be a gem on the deck as well. Nobody's picked that up. I don't think anybody spotted that one out. Roshan, arrows flies through. There's going to be the infest BKB pop by Mastermind as well. Lads, there's a gem. Mid lane is being pushed in, so middle feed can't be away from the base for that long. It looks like at least... Yeah, the FEG gets taken down, but the tier 4 tower is going to be defended as Council does rotate back. All heroes on the side of Singularity grouping up. Can they move themselves into the Roshan pit? There is an illusion there to try and scout this out in case it does get attempted. But the Moonlight Shadow being used now. It looks like Mastermind wants to try and pick up this kill. As, uh... Bloody hell, I had mic issues there. Apparently it didn't pick it up. So inside the Roshan pit, Mikey... Um, just moving himself in, may even be able to take it now that you can do Illusion Gaming with Roshan. Mastermind's going to come in to pick up the Aegis. It's a Vengeful Spirit. Mastermind being able to do the Roshan. Um, nobody can contest this because Sankin's already bought back as far as the buybacks go. I mean, who do you give the ref I still believe you give the refresher to the Winter Wyvern. So this is game two. 59 minutes in. We are reaching the hour mark now, ladies and gents. For game two, Singularity trying to close game two out. 
But Mid Feed coming for the fight back. And still Singularity can't break the base. There's still a lane of racks up. Did he just time lapse back? So, okay, Tomato's already used the time lapse. Gonna be thrown out the BKB. Chronosphere on the back. Doesn't actually catch on to anyone. And now with the Ice Blast, is it gonna be any kills as Bashwick already takes down Tomato? Again, he's already used the time lapse, so we can't get that off. Right click's coming out. It looks like they are gonna be able to take down the Faceless Void now as well. Illusions. It's just everybody being run over on the side of Radiant. And we even with the Hex. Tomato buys back, but it's too late. The GG's gonna be called. And uh, Team Singularity take the second game to win the series 2-0. to zero. So, we are going to be moving on. We've got a second game coming up pretty soon. It's going to be in about 15 minutes between Hellraisers as well as Evil Corp. For now, we are going to take a quick break and uh, we'll be back for game, the second match of the day between Hellraisers and Evil Corp in about 15 minutes. <laughs> 